One thing I've been seeing in this meeting quite a bit is um, therapeutics. And, uh, you know, before, before COVID, five years ago or so, you'd come, there'd be a lot of science about um, research that's going on, the sort of like understanding the underlying biology of disease. And now uh, I see a lot of new therapeutics, like how can we actually address these diseases and a lot more um, diversity of options. So, uh, you know, five years ago, we probably would have assumed the only way to cure some of these things is to do gene editing, to change out the gene. Um, but there's so many new options uh, to sort of leave the genome the way it is, but, but uh, you know, do small molecules and other things that will real, really help uh, address genetic conditions in the long term, uh, but without changing the, the genome itself. One of the things that we're seeing now is there are dimensions of the genome that we've never studied because there was never anything we could do about it. And so there, we really were not paying attention to that dimension. Um, and uh, like epigenomics is really one area where that's, that's happened, that people have been working on that, but it's not really been the focus. Now that we have ways to intervene with that, it actually drives new understanding that now we have tools, we have a hammer, let's go start looking for nails so we can figure out how to address things we never thought we could address before. So yeah, really great opportunities here.